But first, the campaign to get the first ever black officer in the British Army recognised for his achievements. Walter Tull was a promising footballer as a young man, even playing for Tottenham Hotspur. Then he entered the army, and despite it being illegal to have a person of colour, he was promoted to officer. Now his family are calling for him to be awarded the military cross. And a famous author is also backing the campaign. Marcus Powell has the story. Lieutenant Walter Tull is a forgotten man, yet he made history, first at Tottenham, then in the trenches in the First World War. Now there's a campaign to posthumously award him the Military Cross, an honour apparently only denied him because of his colour. Warhorse author Michael Morpurgo has written a book inspired by Tull's career. He's joined the cry for him to be given the honour he was recommended for, but never received. He was unbelievably brave, and he should have got a medal. He was commended for uh, the military cross, and then he didn't get it, and he was killed in March 1918, having been unbelievably brave, uh, and he didn't get his medal. And all these years later, he still hasn't got his medal, and to make it worse, and this is what I suppose inspired me, or almost infuriated me enough for me to write the story, is that in 1990, I think, around that time, the Imperial War Museum in London wanted to put up a statue of him, so important did they think him in the history of uh, warfare in this country. Um, and the statue was turned down by the local council. Tull was a leader, the first black outfield player in the top flight, joining Spurs in 1909. In service, he became a second lieutenant, as the army overlooked its rules at the time that no black officer could command white troops. Marcus Powell, London Tonight. Well, a little earlier, I spoke to Tor Jastad, a member of Mr Tull's family. He told me that Mr Tull's tale is an important one that needs recognition. Uh, Walter is incredibly important because uh, his story has been known uh, for a long time, obviously right in, within the circle, the family circle, but it's only in recent years that his whole story has become public through the publication of a uh, biography by Phil Vasili. Uh, and uh, uh, a number of documentaries and plays about Walter. So uh, really his uh, story has become uh, very uh, well, uh, uh, very well, well um, uh, recognized. It's been well, well, well documented over the last few years, as you, as you said. But, what, you know, mm. if he is awarded the Military Cross, what will that mean to you and the other members of the family? Well, the recognition is welcomed by the family and the family supports uh, efforts that are being made. At the same time, there is lots of other recognition in other parts of the UK. There are projects uh, involving young people using Walter as a role model uh, for young black people and people of all races. And therefore, uh, that is a very important legacy in addition to any campaign uh, for, for a, a military cross. Do you feel then that it's important that a younger generation realises that there was a black officer serving during the First World War, that history does go back that far within the black community? Absolutely, and uh, in every uh, walk of, of public life in Britain, uh, there is a need to encourage more uh, black and uh, multi-ethnic uh, minorities to step forward and take a leading role in a, in a multi-racial society and therefore uh, knowing about his story and the incredible uh, odds he was against both in his footballing career and in his army career uh, is an incredibly inspiring story and there are many projects in London, Bristol and other parts of the UK where his story has been used uh, to illustrate what is possible against all the odds. OK, well, uh, Tor Justad, thank you very much for joining us and good luck with the Military Cross campaign. Thank you very much. In football, good news for Chelsea today. Captain John Terry's...